and now to a story that will excite some of the local steel companies. Well, five local steel companies have been shortlisted to supply 330 million shillings worth of steel for the standard gauge railway construction. The move will be the largest local procurement of steel by the China Road and Bridge Corporation as it seeks to meet quotas set out by the government for local procurement of materials. Here is more on that report. The multi-billion shilling standard gauge railway project has in recent months recorded significant progress despite facing massive headwinds. Since late 2014, the government has, however, been pressing China Roads and Bridge Corporation, the contractor behind the project, to increase its procurement from the local market. Those shortlisted include Apex Steel Mill, Steel Makers Limited, Devki Steel Mills, Prime Steel and Tononoka Steel. According to the contractor, one or more farms will be awarded the tender, set to be the first of two this year. This is the first major local steel supply contract CRBC will be undertaking after previously buying smaller consignments from different Kenyan steel makers. Following the presentation of bids, CRBC will now move to the next stage of evaluating the quotations and from this select a suitable supplier based on a number of variables such as capacity to have a stable production regime, sales performance, quality control and pricing. The firm expects the bulk supply to meet increased demand for steel on the SGR line for the construction of culverts and bridge foundations for about three months. The firm has undertaken to execute another round of bulk steel buying next year. The SGR is built to be a major game changer for the region as it is estimated to cut transportation costs of cargo by nearly four times. With regard to the SDR, the development of our railway, I can proudly say that as of today, we are 55% done. The project deadline has been set for quarter four of 2016. Speculation is rife that with such a huge consignment being procured by CRBC, fears of a possible shortage and price spikes is imminent. CRBC, however, maintains that despite them executing other projects across the globe, this should not affect domestic prices or lead to a shortage. Abiyagina, KTN Business Today.